All right, this person asks, is Ruth Bader Ginsburg alive? <laughs> of course she's alive. <laughs> well, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove uh, honey. Honey. What's going on? Good morning. Welcome to uh, YouTube. <laughs> so for this week's video, I thought I'd take a, another round of questions. So I went on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram and said, hey, ask me a question. And then you guys asked me questions. Um, and there were several involving my love life, which was interesting. And then there are also a couple deep questions, which I wasn't expecting and am not emotionally uh, able to answer, but thank you for asking them. All right, let's get started. All right, Jordan asks, how angry do you get when people name their favorite movie and it isn't Armageddon? Uh, I get, honestly, very, very angry. I literally, literally just last week I framed a guy for murder for not immediately saying Armageddon as soon as I asked him the question. Kevin from Calcutta asks, who is John Wick and why? Uh, John Wick is actually my biological father, which is pretty cool. Um, and why, I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Darren from Denver, Colorado asks, where do you think you and the United States would be without RBG? Uh, well, I, I, without RBG, I would definitely be at the bottom of a bottle somewhere, um, like a sparkling apple juice bottle. Uh, United States, there's no telling. There's no telling where it would be without RBG. I, we were, honestly, we'd probably already be at World War, World War V. It would be awful. Stephanie asks, would you rather know the history of every object you touched or be able to talk to animals? I think I probably have to go with talking to animals because, you know, it'd be cool and I want to see, you know, what's up with the cheetah, like what are they up to, how are they doing, and, and things like that. Um, I would absolutely not want to know the history of anything that I touched. Um, any object ever, okay, uh, has a horrible history to it. I don't care what it is. Uh, Clara from Russia asks, would you rather eat bacon dipped in yogurt or pineapple pizza? Um, both of those sound awful. That's like asking if I wanted to go to prison for the rest of my life or to be shot into the sun out of a t-shirt cannon. Um, I, I don't want to do either of those things, but if I had to choose, it would be the bacon thing, just out of curiosity. Um, but I'm not a communist, so I don't do either of those things. Alexis asks... This person asks, if you ever met your future self, what is one question you would ask him? Well, the first question would be, have the twins won the World Series yet? Um, and then, if they haven't, I would cry into my own arms. And the second question I would ask him is if 2020 is still happening, where he's from. All right, my mom asks, if you could have a date with Lauren Daigle, but never have pizza again in your life, which would you choose? <laughs> that's, that's a very difficult, Question. That's like a really good question. I don't. I don't have any idea what I would choose. You know, it's just. I mean. I mean, look at her. Look. No. Wait. No. Wait. No. This, look at that. Come on, man. I. Ah, I don't know. Ah, ah. This person asks. Oh yeah. How's YouTube? Uh, YouTube's fine. You know, it's good. It's good. Um, if you're not subscribed, you should uh, subscribe to me because it help. It makes me feel good on the inside here and here and a little bit here also. So after filming my responses, I realized that there are a, a few that I missed and I need to answer them all, otherwise I'll go to jail. Um, and so I'm doing that from this second location in my apartment. Annika from Ontario asks, do you have TikTok? Um, unfortunately, I don't. I, I, uh, I do have Napster though, uh, add me there. All right, Ray Ray asks, why you no answer my last question? I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it got lost in the mail you, with the post office. You see all the news about the post office. They're, I guess they're losing mail things now. And that must, I think that was one of them. My dad says, my question is simply why? I, I don't know. And whoever did the laughing emoji, you're only encouraging him, okay? Don from Dover, Delaware asks, Starbucks or Caribou? Um, I like Starbucks drinks better than caribou drinks, but I will say that caribou mugs are just on another level. Like, I just want to buy them all 
um, and then just look at them all day long. I just, they're, they're so much better than Starbucks. McKenna asks, what's the best experience you've had while traveling? Well, there's been uh, a lot of them, but one of them that comes to mind is my brother and I, uh, my brother Maddie and I coming home from California one time, got lost in Sequoia National Park there in California, uh, and uh, took a couple wrong turns and almost, almost was eaten by wolves. And that last part wasn't true, but we did get lost and it took several hours to get out of the park. Um, we are morons. All right, Matt says, you can marry the woman of your dreams, but you have to smoke your shin on the hitch of a pickup once a week for the first five years of marriage. Do you take it? Well, I would take a bruised shin over an empty apartment any day of the week. <laughs> that, sounded, that sounded pretty sad. Uh, my life isn't that sad, I'm kidding. I, it's, I'm fine. All right, Jordan asks, does indigo matter when talking about the colors of the rainbow or is there just blue? I love this question. Indigo never matters, all right? Indigo is pretentious. Either be blue or purple. You can't, don't be both of those things. All right, Brad from Bolivia asks, if the Bible is inspired by God, was Paul inspired by God to say that what he was writing was from himself and not inspired by God in 1 Corinthians 7 12? That's a great question, Brad. Um, uh, let me, actually, let me text my pastor friend from Missouri here and just see what he has to say, because that's a great question. And this person also asks, is it true that there is baseball in heaven and tennis in hell? That is 100% true. Baseball is obviously in heaven. Um, tennis, definitely hell. Uh, fun fact, synchronized swimming didn't make the cut. It's in hell, which is confusing because of the whole water situation down there. How, does, how do they do that? Matt from Manitoba asks, can you pass me the salt? Yes. Yes, I can. Jordy asks, will you marry me? Yes, I will. Absolutely, obviously, I will. Sarah from North Carolina asks, is an eggplant plant called an eggplant plant? <laughs> or just an eggplant? Uh, great question. I've wondered that myself. Uh, I would guess the first thing. How is your dating life? Uh, I don't I don't really know to be honest uh, Taylor Swift just released an album as you all may know uh, and it's a fairly moody album like like I mean like kind of sad somber maybe is a word I'd use and uh, I don't really know what that means for us you know I wish she'd just talk to me sometimes and I don't know instead of writing a whole album what whatever it's I don't know uh, all right, this person says, we all know that pineapple goes on pizza, but why do they have to make pizza with mustard? I'm so confused by all of that. No, we do not all know that pineapple goes on pizza. Only communists know that. And also, why do they have to make pizza with mustard? I didn't even know they did that, and now I'm furious that I have found out. Why? This 2020, it just takes and it takes. And it takes. Aaron from Arendelle asks, what can I do to stop chronic diarrhea asking for a friend? Um, well, Aaron, tell your friend uh, that he should eat as much cheese as is available. Just as much cheese as he can find in the vicinity, put it inside of his mouth and see. I think that'll help. Hannah from Harrisburg asks, is it true that you and T-Swift are expecting uh, well, it is true. That's true. Uh, you heard right. Uh, Taylor and I met in the early 70s. Um, uh, soon after meeting though, I was drafted into the Cold War and I was away from, uh, away from her for uh, the better part of 17 years. Uh, we came back, we immediately got married. Uh, 35 years later, we're pregnant. How about that guys? That's cool. That's awesome. All right, Cole asks, if it is true that the dung beetle can fly 30 kilometers per hour, and that is true, we all know that, um, then why is it impossible for the red maintenance to cry on dry ground? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the second part of that sentence means, and it scares me, the, the entirety of the sentence, it's, it frightens me. I actually googled red maintenance, nothing came up, so I don't know, I'm gonna say 75 is the, question, is the answer to your question. All right, Aaron asks, can I buy publicity traded stock in Nate's movies? Yes, you can. Actually, the IPO uh, was just this last Friday. 
Um, so be sure to get it on, on the ground level. You know, there's a lot of investors, a lot of, a lot of stockholders very, very excited about this. So, so yeah, um, they're currently selling at one penny a share. So, you know, hop on that train, man. It's, it's going fast. Um, how come the Canadians didn't claim pineapple pizza? Because they're smart? I don't know. All right, this person asks, how single are you? My answer would be my last video. Take a, take a look at my last video. Nathan, good name, from uh, Nova Scotia asks, is it tough to reply to all of the fan mail you get weekly from your female followers? Uh, it is tough. You know, it's, it's, it's a daunting task. I have to set aside a large amount of time uh, to, to look through it all. You know, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge collection of things that I get weekly and I just I wish that my mom would stop sending me all these things Josiah from Arizona asks if Lauren Daigle knew your most embarrassing story Would she still like you or would it be a deal breaker? Well coincidentally enough my most embarrassing story involves a Lauren Daigle tattoo that I tried to get somewhere on my body and it, it turned out looking very similar to Jeff Foxworthy so I, I would assume that it would be a deal breaker. Yeah. All right, Paula from American Idol asks, are you really over RBG and uh, Lauren Daigle? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, um, uh, emoji that does this. Uh, I, obviously not. No, I'm, I'm not. Just because, you know, a new love has entered the chat, uh, if you will. Um, yeah, those two will always be just right here. All, all forever. All right, my dad again asks, is there any question you will not answer? All right, Jeff asks, will you be cast as Jim or Dwight in the Office reboot? Uh, unfortunately, I was cast as Toby. All right, Erica asks, will you be proposing to your new love? Red and black could be cool wedding colors. Uh, well, we've already, we've already proposed. I've already proposed, I mean, we've already uh, and things are moving real fast. Things are getting real cheesy, real greasy, if you know what I'm talking about. And um, red and black is will be the, you guessed it, the wedding color is fantastic. Um, all right, this person asks, what are some of your biggest life struggles and how are you able to overcome them? Kind of deep, but I'm curious. I guess one of the things that I've struggled with in my life is money, not having enough of it, much like a lot of people don't. Um, in the past and now and whatnot, uh, but a way of overcoming that, and I am overcoming that, is just trusting in God that He would bring me through that. Uh, and if you're interested, read Malachi 3, 8 through 10. Lindsay from Hades asks, how dark do you like your toast? Uh, like golden brown, like right, right in the middle. Ashley from uh, Antarctica asks, maybe not a ridiculous question, but one I think would be interesting. Name the best, most believable, scariest, well-developed, well-acted movie villain and the worst. Oh, I love that question. What a great question. Well, I don't know what the best are. I know a few of my favorites. Um, Javier Bardem in Skyfall is amazing. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman in the movie Moneyball is really fun. He plays the manager of the A's and is, you, you, you just hate him, the entire movie, it's awesome. And then I also have to go with Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight, obviously. I've seen the movie like four trillion times, um, and I could like, I could quote it from like beginning to end, I love it. And the worst, pro I'm gonna get a lot of hate mail for this, okay? I'm gonna get a lot of very mean words said to me, but Hans from Frozen is maybe the worst villain ever. Um, it's so, conf he has this like great song with uh, um, Anna, 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 Anna? They have this great song at the beginning of the movie, all right? It's like the best song of the entire movie, and then like halfway through he's suddenly evil? Come on, no, 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 that, that, that was such a good song. There's no way evil lies in the heart of that man singing about sandwiches and, and falling in love with an open door. All right, Stacy from Iceland asks, where does Toe Jam come from? Uh, toe Jam was actually my nickname in high school. Colby from Connecticut asks, can I be your best man? Uh, Colby, you are already the best man of all time. Hannah asks, do you prefer Miss America or Miss USA? Uh, I think they're all great. 
They're all super, big fans of all of them.